Have you ever wanted to get into long range shooting but you weren't sure where to start? Well this week for Tactical Tuesday we're going to take a look at the Solace by Aero Precision. So as we mentioned before, today for Tactical Tuesday, we are taking a look at Aero Precision's brand new bolt action rifle, the Solace. It's an awesome gun and it's full of a ton of great features, especially kind of at its price point. Yeah, it's not gonna be the cheapest bolt action gun out there, um, but it provides an excellent value. Um, you get all kinds of features with this that you wouldn't get out of something cheaper and you get the accuracy, uh, the action is very smooth, um, it's very modular, so you're getting a lot of features that you, would, you wouldn't find in maybe something else on the market. And that's what I appreciate this, is they're coming out and they're building something that's very modular from the get-go that you can kind of take their action and you can buy just the action, you can buy the action with the barrel attached, and then you can drop it into several different chassis. It's taking a Remington 700 pattern. So there's a ton of options for you. Um, you don't have to go with this exact rifle, but what's cool about that is um, they provide a chassis that is going to be a more of like a PRS, mm -hmm. like competition setup. Um, but like I said, like you can just drop that action in and you can do something very different with it, go hunting or, or whatever you would like to do. Not a very well thought out system as far as allowing the customer to build what they want, to end up with exactly what they need that's gonna suit their purposes for shooting, whether it's you know extreme long range shooting, like what we were using it for, um, or you're talking just like the hunting, the more the sportsman's style of shooting where you're getting out there um, in the back country, maybe you want to make it a little bit lighter weight so you don't have a big chassis gun. You could definitely do that as well with the appropriate stock. Um, so it's great to see that Aero Precision has taken that quality that we're all familiar with in their AR parts and brought it over into the bolt action world and made it an accessible um, option for those of us yeah. who maybe don't know a ton about the like long range me. shooting. Yeah, like neither of us are long range shooters. Uh, we're we're good out to about 350 yards. Yeah, I'm that, great that's our comfort with an zone. AR. <laughs> right, but us not knowing that much about the long range game mm -hmm. is we're probably the perfect people to get out there and actually use it. Mm -hmm. Like you can talk about how great a rifle is all day long, but we actually got out and used it and we pushed it pretty far. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were hitting I'm what, sure, 1400 yards. With yeah, it? I'm sure that the real like long range dudes will watch what we did and be like, ah, you did that wrong. You did the, the you know. Yeah, you're, you were laying that down behind is the gun wrong. Like 100% valid. Yes. But I had a great time. Yes. <laughs> and we did push it out pretty far. Mm -hmm. We started off close and we just kind of kept stepping it out further and further and further. Um, not all hits right away. Um, but we kind of walked it in and we mm -hmm. did get it out pretty far. Um, it, I, I know for sure it shoots over four, 1,400 yards because yep. we did do that. Yep. Um, and in better hands, I'm sure you could do that first try. Right. For me, it was not first try. It was uh, 10 or took, something took a little like bit that. of work for us. But, but again, yeah. not being long range shooters, but being able to pick up this gun, go out there, you know, di get it dialed in, 
Yep. To the best of our knowledge, we were able to, that's the longest shot either of us have ever made. And the fact that we were able to do so on a platform that was very easy to get adjusted between the two of us, yeah. uh, being drastically different sized yes. people, uh, you know, we'll, yeah, we'll go into we'll that. We'll go into that. Uh, but it was a very good experience. Um, it was, oh man, it makes me want to get into long range shooting after getting to play around with something like this. Um, yeah. And knowing that I could do so without emptying out the bank account is yeah. pretty awesome. When you get into long range, it's not just the gun. Everyone knows that. It's the same thing with uh, all your kit with your ARs and stuff like that. The gun is like, it's your entry point. So if you're gonna break the bank at your entry point, you don't have everything to support it. I mean, range finders. Uh, good glass. Good glass, yeah, an optic on there. Um, spotting bipods. scopes, bipods, the mats ammo. to lay on, ammo. There's just a, just a whole bunch of stuff. And um, the deeper you get, just like any, any hobby really, um, just the more expensive it's gonna get. And this is a great package at a, a very affordable um, price point that will get you stepping into that world and it's it's just a lot of fun. It's mm -hmm. a great time. So let's go into some of the features of it um, as far as what this gun comes with. Because we keep saying that it's a great value gun that you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck. So as far as that goes, I'm gonna pull the, the cheat sheet out and kind of go, you know, Grantham style from front to back and just kind of list off some of the things that you're gonna get with it. This particular gun here in front of us has a 22 inch 6.5 Creedmoor barrel. It is, a Sendero profile barrel. Uh, it's fairly heavy profile. Yeah, might be a little extreme for hunting. I could see. I could see that it's being a little heavy. heavy. It's heavy. Uh, it's you know, a precision barrel. Yeah, it is. Eat your Wheaties. You'll be fine. But uh, you can you can definitely lug it around if you had to, and maybe a little bit different chassis. Um, it that barrel is attached to a Remington 700 short action footprint uh, chassis or action. Excuse me. It is. The Solus action, Solus action, but it's the pattern of the seven, uh, the Remington 700. But this is like their short action. Ah, okay. Uh, it has an integral 20 MOA rail, top rail built into it. Uh, three lug interchangeable bolt head. It is compatible with AICS magazines, and it does have a little adjustment uh, tension screw in there that allows you to make minor adjustments to the magazine well. Uh, that way it can accommodate and more better fit those different polymer shaped magazines. It has an adjustable thumb rest back here in the rear. Very comfy. A 60 degree throw bolt, and it does cock the gun when lifting the bolt up. A completely modular and adjustable rear buttstock, which again was, okay. it's, guys, it's very well thought out. It was Want very me easy to demonstrate. To it real yeah, quick? Nate, go ahead and kind of adjust All it. Right. So you have uh, just a little knurled. Um, things that turn, what are these called? Knobs, I guess. Knobs. And then this one's just going to be a friction. Um, the bottom one actually has little spots it like stops lugs. at. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just tighten it down. Super easy, um, which was nice because you're tall and I'm short. Um, yeah, we were able to make adjustments to this on the fly. I mean, when we were out there that day, we were kind of let bounce back and forth who was shooting and making those adjustments was very easy to do as Nate's showing. With this lower one, you undo it. I don't know if I did it all the way. And then you just push it in and it just adjusts like so. It's a very well thought out design. It's a very rigid stock and it didn't have any wiggle or play. Once those knobs are all tightened down, it was awesome. I mean, there's a lot of very high-end bolt action rifles that we've played around with on the floor that are either really difficult to adjust on the fly. Uh, you almost need some kind of tool to do it. Even though they are technically toolless, they're yeah. really, really stiff. This one didn't have that problem at all. It was very easy to make adjustments on the go. And then when you locked it down, it was locked down. But when you needed to make those adjustments, you could do so very easily. Um, very well thought out design. Again, going back to the you know, giving credit to Arrow for designing something that, you know, yeah, it's the buttstock. It may not be the most important piece of it, but it was very nice to have. Again, yeah. going back to the bang for your buck, it's great. Yeah. Uh, it's One, even got the sandbag sled on the bottom, okay. which, you know, most of the time that's an aftermarket part you got to buy. Yeah. So some designs on um, these adjustable stocks, they'll like try to shave weight 
but then you don't have anywhere to like land a sandbag. Mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't get that really. Right, especially on like a PRS yeah. style gun. It's, it's yeah. They try to shave all that weight off, but then it becomes like useless. You got to buy aftermarket parts to put on there to make up the difference for what they took out. Mm -hmm. So it's great. Um, the front rail or the front half of the chassis, as can be seen, is ARCA adaptable or compatible as well as M-Lock compatible. So you can run it either on a tripod like we have set up right here, or run it like with just a bipod, which is what we did when we were out at the range. Uh, the barrel is threaded, uh, 5 8 by 24, so you can go ahead and throw on a suppressor. Uh, we've got the Aero Precision Lahar uh, 30 suppressor on there, which was very impressive. Yes, um, it did sound very good. Yeah, pausing a moment to talk about just that. I was most of the day I was spotting for Nate while he shot. You know, I was sitting four or five feet to the to the his right. Yeah. Uh, and it was very comfortable sitting next to him shooting this gun. I was not wearing hearing protection for the majority of it because that suppressor tamed the noise so well. It really wasn't necessary, and it wasn't one of those things where it's like, ooh, it's a little uncomfortable. I should maybe put in here yeah. earplugs. It was like, no, I, sitting where I was sitting. On, totally comfortable. On that note, mm -hmm. I, I I haven't reviewed any of the footage, but I guarantee you I'll have hearing protection in on some of it, and then it will just not be there the next time, and it's just like I forgot to put it back in, and then it, it just didn't really matter. It wasn't unbearable at all. It mm -hmm. sounded really nice, so I tried to just keep it in because safety first, but I found myself being like, oh, I didn't have my ears in. <laughs> mm -hmm. So kind of going back to our previous review on the Lahar, we're, it really just added again to that already foundation. Yeah. We liked it before. It was good to see it on another style platform outside of the AR-15 realm, and it did a fantastic job. But anyway, getting back into the rifle, uh, the gun itself has a, it's a trigger tech, single, tra or single stage trigger in there. Um, breaks right at around two and a half pounds, very crisp. It is adjustable, so you could take out the slack. Uh, we basically took all the slack out, so we could just barely, barely rest our finger on there and get it to go off. It's good. It was a good trigger, very yeah. nice. Um, no complaints there whatsoever. And let's see, it, it the rail itself is compatible with the optional night vision bridge mount. So if you are running something like, you know, you're doing night vision, long range shooting, precision shooting, you can get a bridge that goes over the barrel here so you can mount you know, your PEC-15, uh, any of those other night vision specific accessories for those long range shooting. You know, if you're going pig hunting at night, something yeah, along those yeah, lines. That would be cool. This is gonna be a great platform for that. Um, and man, again, going back to the action, it was just wicked smooth. Never had a problem yeah, it's really loading good. it. It's just so, good. Yeah. Let's see. And it is a Q, QPQ finished. Uh, so guys, that's a, pretty impressive gun it really I mean, is that's all the stats but yeah um trigger was good i mean just like the points that i just trigger was good barrel was accurate adjustable stock that makes sense and works very well built in 20 moa i mean usually you're going to put an optic on there that that's going to work really well with give you tons of adjustability mm -hmm. um to go real really far out there um you could push this gun much further than what we did or yeah, what we much could. further than our, our capabilities yeah. allowed uh, the suppressor was a nice touch um, and it's also an aero product uh, it's it's complete product it's a great offering it, i really just i had so much fun just sitting there mm -hmm. and just throwing <laughs> yeah just slapping gongs yeah this did you mention this is six five creedmoor i did okay. yep uh, it is 6.5, this one's 6.5 Creedmoor. Aero Precision is going to release it in 308, as well as a uh, 6 Creedmoor. Uh, there may be other offerings coming down the road, but as of right now, that's the official three calibers are gonna release it in. Uh, so again, whether you're going for the really long range shooting, you know, like what we were doing with it, or if you're going kind of sticking more, more of that hunting style, uh, they do have other offerings in this where you can get it in a little bit different uh, stock. It's going to be a little bit lighter weight, uh, or you can go ahead and build it out however you want to. Um, yeah. It's it's good to know the Arrow is kind of trying to cover as many bases as they can with a good platform gun, and they've really thought ahead as far as making it as modular as possible so it can, can it can accommodate as many people as possible. Yeah. I mean, it's it's way more accurate than we are. 
yeah. the gun. I mean, 100%. Our, our GM took it out to break in the barrel for us before he let us kind of run with it. He's a fantastic shot. I mean, he had, what, a four-shot group? Uh, three or four-shot group. Like, it was just one hole, though. Yeah, they were all touching. You could probably put a dime over it yeah. at 100 yards. If I did that, it'd probably be one MOA. You yeah. put them all through one hole. So Yeah, he was... So, I mean, it's uh, it has the capabilities to do whatever you need it to do. You know, it, if it would be... It was almost a disservice to the gun having us shoot it, but that being <laughs> said... It was great because neither of us have ever tried to reach out that far, you know, with a gun. So it was awesome that this gun gave us the full ability to do so. You know, within an afternoon, a little bit of quick research, um, you know, learning how to dial it in. You know, Nate here was hitting 1,400 yards, which yeah. is incredible. Uh, I mean, maybe not for some people, but for me, that is for two average yeah. Joes who don't shoot past. <laughs> That's pretty far for me. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. So, guys, if you're looking to get into something like this, um, you know, it, it, you're looking to get into that precision long range shooting. Um, but again, you don't know where to start. This is definitely a platform that you should be looking into. Um, it yeah. should be pretty high in your consideration list. I agree. Um, you know, we're not paid by Arrow to talk about this, but we were very excited to see it because we're both fans of Arrow Precision in general. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've got, I don't know. I've got a, a, a couple rifles built out on Aero Precision. I think parts. everyone does. Yeah, it's it's just. I mean, whether it's a small parts kit mm -hmm. or a buffer kit or the lower or something, yeah, like I, everyone has something made by Aero, mm -hmm. um, and they just do a great job. And they're not trying to rake you over the coals mm -hmm. on the price point. So it's really. I'm so excited that they're going into a totally different realm of shooting, like the bolt action. It's like, it's been around forever, everyone loves it, um, but to see your AR-15 like company kind of do something different, it's refreshing. It is. And I think they're doing it right. Like the, we've already talked about it, but the modularity and how you can just kind of you can you can go and you can buy this exact rifle, but maybe the chassis is not exactly what you want, or you have a gun already and you're already into this, and you can just replace parts you want to replace. Like mm -hmm. you, maybe you just your chassis is an old one that you've worn out or you've shot out your barrel, and you just want to start kind of with some something fresh. Well something fresh and accurate more accurate than what you already have you could just go get that chassis uh, not the chassis sorry the action on um, the action and barrel or whatever and put it in your existing chassis that maybe you've already have a lot of experience on mm -hmm. um just the modularity i'm not super familiar in the bolt world the bolt action world but i think um typically when you're doing like custom bolt action stuff it gets really expensive really really quickly because there's a lot of like technical like more like hand like fitting hand and fitting like deep gunsmithing to make uh just uh what's the word on a ma uh no so we're oh, custom yeah custom yeah 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 when you are gonna build a custom bolt action rifle, that is going to get expensive very, very quickly. So seeing the bolt actions um, kind of become a little bit more like plug and play like the A AR-15 world is, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to make it a lot more approachable uh, for many, many people like me. Like I, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't know really where to start with custom bolt action, this and that, mm -hmm. but maybe a lot of people are doing it, but the modularity and being able to be like, okay, this action, this barrel, this chassis. Yeah, slap it together. Yep, and you got a custom gun. Um, I love that they're starting to do that. Um, so guys, if you get a chance to check one out, I um, mean, we've got this one here at the shop. Um, they, they will become more predominant. You'll for sure be seeing these more available on the market as they continue to get that production, uh, you know, up. Uh, so if you want to come out, come by and check this one out and see for yourself, uh, feel the action on there, uh, by all means, please stop by the shop. We'd be happy to show it off and show it to you. Uh, yeah, and just kind of keep an eye out for these things as they start to hit the market. Um, yeah. You're 
we can't speak more highly about it again are we experts in the subject matter no we're not, not claiming to be all. either but for two guys who were able to get this thing out there and hit you know 1400 yards it's pretty impressive and again we're stoked kit couldn't recommend it enough so well guys thanks for watching today's video uh, we hope that you got something from it uh, if you have any questions at all please uh, let hit us up we'd be happy to answer them uh, if we don't know the answer right off the top of he our head, we definitely know where to find them, and we can get you taken care of for sure. Uh, again, as always, please stop by the shop. We'd be happy to show you around, uh, let you check out the stuff in person, uh, and really just get some hands-on experience. Uh, that's what we're all about here at Modern Warriors, is allowing people to you know, see and hold and feel and check this stuff out so they you know, just have a better understanding of what it is that they're getting in into. So guys, uh, thanks for your time. Yeah. And See you next week. Yep.